What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is an exciting new video on a brand spanking new Anchor product. Now, huge shout out to you guys that keep up to date on this stuff, search for this stuff, and then let me know about it. So my Twitter is the same thing as my YouTube, What Would Josh Do? And this Cody guy sent me a message before about something, but I had already seen it. This time around, he sent me a link to something that I had not seen before, and I bought it, and here we are. I'm making this video. So thank you, Cody, for letting me know that this exists, and I'm excited that there's somebody like him out there that was like, hey, this, it was in the wrong section. It was in the wrong section on Anchor's website. So, <laughs> But he found it, and here we are. I have it in front of me. This is the Anchor 533. Anchor 533 Power Bank Power Core 25 Watt. Model number A1249. There's all the information on the back of it. On the sides, we have just a little bit of info. And then we have their thing that they've been doing for a little bit now. where It's nice and easy to open it without tearing anything up. So we have a generic USB-C cable, probably 60 watt maximum, nothing special. But hey, I mean, come on. Some some of you out there don't have hundreds of power banks and millions of cables. <laughs> we have a little carrying sleeve to protect it so it doesn't look all worn out when you have it banging around your backpack all day. And, you know, it's pretty light. So, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty simple doesn't look like there's anything on the front of it at all but then those two usb-c ports they show up there and then your usb-a and look we have a button on the side what does this do okay it turns it on you can see that we have 25 percent battery remaining there's some additional information that's going to show up when we plug something in we have usb-c 2 and usb-c 1 and then usb-a and on the back we've got some information so like i say every time my viewfinder is tiny. I can't really see what you all see, but there's all the data. Looks like USB-C can do up to 12 volts and 1.5 amps or 9 volts at 2.22 amps. It says it has PPS up to 25 watts maximum, 2.78 amps. Wow. That's cool that they just literally put that data on the back of there for you to see. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. It is 37 watt hours. Let's use an anchor charger. Let's be fair and let's use the USB-C cable that it comes with. And let's plug in the USB-C port. And you can see that it says two hours and 29 minutes estimated until this battery is fully charged. You can also see that it's charging at 18 watts. So that's not terribly fast, but it's also not slow. It's about what you would expect for a 25 watt battery. I actually have a power core redux 25 watt and it puts out 25 watts and it only charges it the same, which is 18. So essentially I view this as something like this power bank right here. It's got the nice screen, tells you 99%. When you plug something in, it says how much time is left until this battery is depleted or how much time is left until this battery is full if you're charging it. So but this is essentially the slim version of this because this charges at 20 watts and it outputs 30. Well, this outputs 25 and it charges at almost 20. So essentially this is the same exact power bank just in a more flat design. So if you have a purse or like a carrying sleeve for a notebook, this might fit in there easier than something that's bulky like this because this is short and stubby this is tall and skinny so there's a market out there of people that would prefer to have something like this versus something like this this is also this is where anchor is a little confusing this is also the anchor 533 anchor 533 so this is more like anchor 533 slim 25 watt and this is anchor 533 uh chunky 30 watt <laughs> so i wake that screen back up and it says two hours and 25 minutes left why i love that so much is because we know for a fact that let me just switch out the chargers all right now i'm connected to a 140 watt charger from a different company 
and we're seeing the same results. Two hours and 29 minutes remaining. So what if we used a USB charger that we weren't sure about, that we did not have a tester? Well, I connected it to a generic USB A charger. And now we see, pretend that we don't have a tester, right? Just, just pretend. I could even just do this. Look, you can't see it now. Four hours and 47 minutes left until the battery's fully charged. If that was the only thing you had to see, you would know, okay, you know, roughly five hours, this battery will be fully charged. Four hours, 47 minutes. That's fair to say that that's almost five hours. Say you're not technically savvy. You're like, okay, so I saw four hours, 47 minutes. But hey, I found this USB port. Let's see what this does. So you plug it in, and I'm not even gonna show you the tester. You plug it in, you see two hours, 29 minutes remaining. Would you rather see four hours, 47 minutes remaining? Or two hours and 29 minutes remaining? So there you go. We're at 18 watts. We're using a 140 watt charger, which with this power bank, a 30 watt charger would be suffice. So for example, this little Anchor 30 watt charger, very small, fits in ports. It's an amazing little thing. You usually can get them for 14 or $15. Totally worth it. This is the cable that came with the power bank. We're gonna connect these things. We're gonna plug it into that wall outlet in the break room at work. And then we're gonna connect our battery bank. And we know, we know that two hours, 29 minutes remaining is pretty good. It's decent. That other USB port that we plugged into said four hours, 47 minutes remaining. No, let's go back to the other one. Well, this 30 watt that we just plugged into is no different than the 140 watt charger in this situation. There's no benefit. It's much smaller. It fits in narrow plugs where you have other things surrounding it. And it's charging this thing at its full capable speed. So another example, our phone is at 40%. Let's plug in the charger and let's see. Okay, so my battery will last 38 minutes at this current speed. So pretend you don't have a meter at the other end and you have no idea. Well, this power bank just confirms that we are connected to a fast charger because here I can see 18.9 watts, pretty much 19 watts. That's pretty good. It says nine volts, 2.2 amps is the max that it can do. So 27 minutes remaining. What about USB-A? So we don't have a USB-C to USB-C. Let's just pretend that we do not have USB-C to USB-C and we only have USB-A to C, even though it comes with the cable, right? So we're gonna plug in our phone. We're gonna let it settle at its favored charge rate. And okay, so it has settled. It says we're gonna last one hour and 51 minutes at this current rate. So on the phone, I can see that I'm only charging at seven watts. That is roughly a third of the charge speed I was getting using a USB-C to USB-C. And how I know that is because the time remaining before at 27% on this battery bank was a lot less time than this. This says we'll last an hour, 51 minutes at this rate. Now we saw PPS on the back of the power bank, which is awesome because you need PPS in order to super fast charge a Samsung device. Or in Google's case with the pixels, you can use PPS to fast charge a phone, which right away, right away we see PPS. So that's great. And holy smokes, this is what I'm talking about. So we're charging at 25 watts. Well, I saw 25 watts. There we go, 26 watts. And the power bank says it's gonna be dead in 25, 26 minutes at that current rate. So it's stable at 24 watts. It's not fluctuating like it was before. And we got 27 minutes left. So that's a great charger. Whatever you're connected to, that's great. But if you use that USB-A port and we plug in the phone, I'll let this settle to its speed that it's happy with. It says one hour and 44 minutes at that current rate. What is the rate? It's seven watts. That is like a fourth of the speed, like third of the speed. That is, that is, yes. I would much rather my phone charge at 25 watts than seven watts because I'm connected to a power bank and I don't wanna be connected to a power bank all day long. All right, and here we're gonna basically test and see what all protocols this thing has based on what this little charger, or not charger, tester says. All right, so based on this data here, 
We have SCP. There you go. We have Quick Charge 3.0. There you go. We have PD3. So looks like we can do 9 volts at 2.22 amps. Or we get that PPS from 5 to 11 volts at 2.8 amps. So this is based on the data that this little guy has produced. We've made it to the end of the video and we still don't know how much the thing weighs. Let's find out right now. So zero grams, power bank weighs 248 grams. Now the 30 watt output, 20 watt input, same 10,000, it's 210. Okay, okay. So the 18 watt input, 25 watt output weighs about 30 more. Okay, very, very interesting. This is technically a lighter power bank. So my phone weighs 212. That's 250, that's 210. Wow. This is 20 watts of output, 20 watts of input, 214, okay. Now I'm a super big fan of these ones with the built-in cables. You get 10,000 milliamp hours and you get 30 watts of output, 30 watts of input, 214. All right, that wraps up this video. This thing is interesting. It's now officially added to my collection. It's not a bad choice. 25 watts to your phone is very good. And that 25 watts appears to be if you're using PPS. So Samsung, Pixel, stuff like that. I even grabbed an official unused, I just unwrapped it, Apple cable that is Type-C to Type-C. And yeah, we're getting a fixed voltage, 9 volts at 2.22 amps. Oh, wait, on PD3, did it even show the 12 volts that it claims on the back? So I re-ran the test, and yeah, I'm using a different cable now. So 5 volts, 3 amps, or 9 volts at 2.22 amps, or PPS, 5 to 11 at 2.8. So very interesting. Okay, all right. So based on the data that I have provided you, that I have seen, in my scenario, you're going to get 20 watts to your iPhone 15 Pro Max. But if you have a Samsung or a Google phone, you're going to benefit from that PPS, program power supply, and you're going to get 25 watts. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.